All right, so my friends, welcome. Ooh, what's this? We're playing, uh, playing some standard. We're playing a bunch of really awesome looking decks that all uh, did well in various things. Of course, I played Esper at the Pro Tour. And boring. Uh, no good magic with Esper. And, uh, but there's a lot going on in standard more than just Esper. Uh, Pro Tour was a little sneaky because like, we just didn't have much time to really work everything out. Uh, the release of, of OTJ happened and then like six days later, later was the exhibition. So a lot of cool things happening in standard. I'm um, honestly excited for standard right now, and also rotation too is gonna be great too. But that's a thing for a future future story. So what do we got here? We got Smuggler's Surprise. We have a spree card. See, lots of options. We can go th three mana to mill four, put two creature cards, or two creature or land cards into my hand. Six mana, the most important mode here perhaps, is put two creature cards into into play for free, and then uh, seven mana can be indestructible or any mixture of the sort. So obviously we have a bit of a tooth and nail here. And if we were to put in, say, a Calamity Galloping Inferno and a Trumpeting Carnosaur, that's pretty good, right? Like, <laughs> we get to uh, right. crew, copy its act, cascade, cascade again. That's awesome. Also, Terror of the Peaks. Uh, I think that wins the game, right? Terror of the Peaks and Calamity. Put both these at the same time. You deal four to your opponent. You copy it, attack, get two more Terrors. Two Terrors, see the one Terror for five. Yeah, that's that just lethal. So, Splinter Twin scenario. And, uh... Yeah, um, um, one thing I'm surprised here uh, is definitely there are only two copies of Outcaster Trailbla Trailblazer. This is a card that's kind of impressed me, but again, not my list. This is from uh, Zelesia uh, from Magic Online, 5 out of League. Let's give it a spin and uh, and try it out. So, let's get right to the games. Brought to you by... Cool Stuff Inc. is proud to sponsor Jim Davis. We offer great deals on card games, tabletop RPGs, board games, and more. Get a free token featuring Jim Davis and take 5% off your next order if you use the code JIM5 at checkout. Coolstuffinc.com. Cool stuff in stock. I think also maybe the most important part of this deck is Cavern of Souls, too. Uh, these decks obviously get eaten alive by counter spells, but Cavern of Souls is great for that, which is awesome. Chat, coming out with me. We're on the draw. Our hand's okay, though. We can keep this. Um, we got the armadillo to get a lamb, which is cool. We got Glimpse the core now, also, also cool. Do I think Simulacrum Synthesizer is a few cards away from being a competitive standard deck? Yes. I think that uh, rotation is going to be awesome. Uh, we're losing a lot of the format. We're losing Rafine, the Triomes, Domain's not going to be a deck anymore. Uh, we're losing the Nuka Penaland, so no more Team or Analyst. So basically, like the top three decks in the Pro Tour are all gone. And there's just so many awesome cards in standard right now. Uh, that are just not really quite there that will probably be uh, ready to go. So, did that card just say I was a scratch golfer? I am not a scratch golfer, no. I play golf. I scratch myself while playing golf. Uh, waka, waka. But I am not a scratch golfer, no. I play golf and I enjoy it. All right, they take the Stomper. Um, we're going to go get ourselves a Rampant Road for a Farst. Pretty cool that Rampant Road is actually in Santa right now. The next turn we can play, uh, I guess we can Armadillo for a bounce line or something like that. I think that works too. Cool Golgari here. Looks like Re Oh, no, this is not Reed's deck. This is a Deep Cavern Bat Gix deck. That's bad for us. Right, drawing cards. We draw the Arid Archway, which I actually got a tutor for. Um, we need a red, actually, so. I guess we're gonna, like, Armadillo for a red land. Yeah, I mean, like, Gix snowballs pretty pretty nasty, but the reality is that they don't have counter spells in their deck, so our big stuff should go over the top of them really well. Classic, you know, metagame in Magic is that ramp beats uh, beats mid range. Um, that's on me. Thank you. Um. My bad, my bad, my bad. Sorry, the, I, the, the sound settings were wrong. I apologize. Sorry! Whoops, whoopsie. Fixed now. All right, we got a desert. Uh, just deal the one. So, they can't counter my spells, right? So, if I, if I can just get to Itali and cast it, we'll probably win the game. That being said, we got to get there, and they're drawing a lot of cards, so we'll see. My bad. Don't wear a hockey jersey and Happy Gilmore with a T-Box. Happy Gilmore is really hard and not effective, but Deep Cavern Bat again. That sucks. Uh, probably take the Terror of the Peaks. We can always just smuggle or just draw cards, too. Like, this is like an in instant speed divination for lands and creatures, which is pretty important as well. I 
They are drawing a lot of cards, but they aren't really like threatening me that badly, so take that. Alright, so they must have, obviously they have a Doom Blade in their hand. They didn't play a land, which is pretty surprising. Uh, but yeah, so we're just going to like play Terror of the Peaks, they're going to Doom Blade it, attack. But they're not going to develop, develop any more of their threats too, so... Um, yeah, so that's fine. So, I, if we can just draw any spell we can cast next turn, and then play a Tali, I think we'll be alright this game. But obviously we're like, you know, kind of up against it. Them missing a land drop is the best thing that could ever happen to us last turn. Because they have 9 to 9, 10 cards, and they can't use them all. Oh, they are playing blue. Oh, okay. I see how it is. That's not good for us. We draw a glimpse of the core. of it. It's a castable spell, technically. Uh, but... Search for a forest, and uh, we're going to archway. We can bounce the the, the backwoods and get to scry one. Or we can bounce Beseju, which doesn't really have much value, I guess. Let's we'll just, just scry one. The problem is that they actually are playing counter spells. We're in big trouble, so... Here's Smuggler's Surprise, that's kind of guess. So now we have two hits, so if they bat us again, or, or we get to uh, Surprise or Tali. Couldn't imagine a uh, couldn't imagine a better card in the entire format against us in Cruelty of Gix, uh, which obviously will be uh, taking our stuff. So can we? Um, this costs six, seven, eight mana to go all the way. Yeah. So pretty shitty game. Unfortunately, they have a main deck copy of, like the best card in the format against us. They discarded a Traxa too. Yeah. I mean, they yeah, so they they just had a really good draw. We drew a lot of lands. What are you gonna do? I guess. But I guess we'll cast this. Uh, for the first mode and see if we can't draw some sort of creature that's useful. Probably not, but uh, I mean, we did get Terror of the Peaks and Atali, but alright, so let's play land at Terror of the Peaks. I mean, they're about to tutor and then get our get Atraxa or Atali next turn, so we're probably screwed, but if we can guess Atali successfully next turn, maybe we can do something, but All right, they have eight cards in hand, six mana. Go for the throat. Could I have eight? Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I did have eight, actually. Well, well, well. Um, I screwed up. What do you want from me? I miscounted my lens. All right, here's the tally. They're going to counter it. We'll go to the next game. So maybe we could have won that game, actually. Uh, if I didn't punch, I just didn't. Read my lands properly. This is five, six, seven, eight. Yep. I'm dumb. Hi, I'm Jim. Welcome to the stream. Ooh, their mana base is terrible. Okay, sure. Unless they're just like, oh, you know what? They're just blue black and they have one glade. They're not actually Golgari. That's the deal. So they're actually just like blue black reanimator. And they're just, they're playing a few off color lands for Atraxa. So that that changes the the equation a lot. Um, so that's fine. So we're gonna bring a Cavern Souls. Uh, again, unfortunately. That, that saga is insane against us. Uh, but I suppose it is what it is. Let's cut a little bit of the clunk stuff. Uh, we got to bring in some removal spells to deal with these bats and these... Uh, maybe I should want to pick your poison. We can kill a saga too. I don't know. Uh, what's coming out? Brother's End's pretty good. Stomper, Carnosaur... It's so annoying how good the uh, the saga is against us. I don't know how many sagas actually playing. Probably four if they're playing reanimator, but like Stompers, Trailblazers, Spites, Smuggler, Surprise. I mean, Carnosaur kills stuff too. Let me shave like. Hmm. Shave an armadillo or two. Obviously, Carnosaur is also a removal spell, so... Uh, maybe three beasts is too many. Pick your boys, it could also kill a Traxa, too, which is kind of nice. So, like, could just play these over the Volcanic Spites. This can't kill Gix, but it can kill a Saga or a Traxa. Sure, let's try two of these. Obviously, we screwed up that game. We, we uh, I just didn't cast Spell at the right time. Which is my bad. Uh, but we thought they were Golgari and they were just not. So, alright, we can keep this. It's not great, but it's fine. We can go Glimpse Corp for a forest, Stomper for an extra red. I do love the archway. Big fan. 
So now you can go uh, Stomper Archway. That's sick. Freaking love Bounce Lands, folks. Can't help it. All right, no bat. Do they have a counter spell of some kind? All right, so we get this mountain. It's like the meta doesn't want you to have fun once you play specific decks. Why? Don't oh, what's up? No negativity here. All right, we don't we don't do negativity here. Okay, uh, standards insane right now. Yeah, there are good decks. There will always be good decks in any card game. There will always be good cards in any card game, and they'll be good. You'll need to beat them. That's how card games work, right? Like, it's not complicated. Um, all right, so yeah, brothers in can't kill a freaking preacher. Um, just stop her again. This is fun. All right, so let's play a forest. Oh, I can actually cast calamity. It's ba the bounce land screwed me up, folks. I'm sorry. All right, I'm just a dumb person, and I see five lands. We can calamity or carnosaur here, right? Cause you, so we're good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Carnosaur or Calamity. Calamity would copy the Stomper. Uh, they would both ETB. And I would get two more lands and have two attackers. That's pretty sick. Yeah. And then I can Carnosaur next turn. All right, let's do this. So let's go Calamity. Attack. This is like one of my favorite cards in the set, honestly. It's just such a cool card. Um, super fun and limited. So attack for a whole bunch. They're in a block, so we put six mana, kill this, get two lands, and now we're set up for Atali next turn. Love it. Much better than last game. Alright, so take two. Draw another land. And I'm sure they have, like, uh, disable strokes and stuff. We should start by just attacking. And they'll probably play... Start by playing a Stomper. He might play the Carnosaur. I don't know. They probably have the Cancel. Um, might just play nothing, honestly. We'll see how the Stomper works out. Alright, we are out of basics. Here's the Vol. One, two, three, four, five. Could play Carnosaur here. Um, I kind of like that. Now that I have 8 power in play... You're, again, I say this a lot on stream, but your goal, obviously, as a Magic player is not to not get got, right? If we cast this and they counter it, it's not like a loss as long as the effect of it is good for us. They spend their mana to counter this. We have 8 power and play, which is lethal next turn. And then it paves the way for this. It's actively very good for us. We'll just cast this. Worst case, make disappear. Because that's the one counter so they can play on by, by having mana up. Or that works too. Sometimes, they just don't got it. That works as well. So, uh, game three... Having Preacher makes my Brotherhoods end look worse. Um, Preacher's just annoying in general, but... Maybe we... Uh, yeah, rethink these. Still like to pick your poisons. Maybe we should go to Spites. Baloth. Kind of cute. Armadillo. We got 25 lands. Armadillo is, like, is kind of part of the mana base. I think it's fine, though. Let's do this. All right, game three. Now we're getting into it. Two lander, but armadillo and glimpse and removal spell. We can keep this. We can get a bounce. We can get a bounce on with the armadillo. Having just the one bounce on your deck is so sweet. Just makes you uh, totally able to keep these slower hands. All right, that's bad. All right, so they take the the, the ramp spell here. I still have the armadillo though. So like again, having the bounce land means that I can just like this is just two lands in one. So we can go from two lands to four lands with only one spell, which is great. So they play a tap land. Can't punish them, unfortunately, but it's fine. Let's play land, go. Actually, I'm going to do this now, so they can't tie binder it. I'm going to get my uh, my Arid Archway. Flare Knight says, give how many how many one of lands are in this deck? You think creators running running Omen Path at one point? I don't think so. I think it's just coincidence. You just have one of each desert and stuff. Um, all right. Archway is awkward here because we want to leave up the uh, the volcanic spite if we can. I'm gonna play a forest. Leave up Carnosaur and Spite. If they play an end step, then I can kill it. Yeah, Mastermind. Uh, I'm just gonna spite this. Kill this, and then don't want to bin any of these cards. 
I kind of don't think so, right? I can archway next turn and turn Carnosaur, and then I can start playing five playing five drops and stuff. I got our hand just good. So I keep it. Honestly, Terror is like not great against them. Just like you just play it and just kill it. But Mastermind also that's, that's, that is true actually. Mastermind would also see a sprite draw. So, oh no, they duress me and they found no creatures. That's a damn shame. Get out of here. Get off my plane. Archway, bounce the forest. Say like, yo, now we're doing it. Boom booms for days. And days and days and days. All right, they have two cards left. You know what that means? It's slam jam time. Here's Terror of the Peaks. Deal with that one. Then deal with this one. Then deal with this one. I need... No, you can't. Don't even try on the soundboard. What's that from? First person telling what that's from gets a high five. All right. 1-0. Let's do this. On the play. First time chat and Lieutenant Laggy got it. That's right. It's Riker in the episode of Star Trek where like he's he's like acting in a play, and then like some aliens kidnap him and like make him like relive the play, but as reality to kind of like mess with his mind and stuff. Yeah, Nicole, did you know that? I did. Why do you say so? Uh, all right, we're on the draw. I want the play here. Oh man, if we draw a single land. Our hand's still pretty bad. It's Mulligan. All right, so no. No! Next generation. Uh, Captain John Luke Picard of the USS Enterprise. Alright, so we gotta keep six here, I think. Ah, oh, no, we can't keep six here. So we're like, what, we're 43% to draw land? So we're 57% to lose the game on the spot? Oh, yeah, Mulligan. That's it. Crimson's on the freaking ball. Let's, let's get a round of applause for Crimson in chat. Crimson Crossfire 2, longtime viewer, moderator, and Crimson is uh, the brainchild behind a lot of the sounds. We do a lot of sourcing for the sounds for, for Bronze Mythic and Soundboard, and Crimson's, Crimson's one of the few folks who uh, who hops in and kind of gives a lot of sound suggestions. So big thanks to Crimson for being awesome. Always in the ball. We're going to keep this. We're going to dump, uh, I think, both Calamities, and we're just going to try and draw some land. Let me spells, I guess. Monty's resub, thanks so much. Good episode. Domain. Alright, I think we're good against Domain. Uh, obviously, Mulligan going to five this game, but... Glimpse the core. We're going to go for Forest. Up. The Beanstalk. We draw another Carnosaur. Alright, so we can, like, smuggle a surprise here. Try to find another land. And uh, just do a baby, baby spree. But someone committed a crime. Give me a lover. Alright. Not ideal, but we get Stomper and Spinewood's Armadillo. Calamity's like a big deal though, right? But Stomper can find a, a, a bounce land, which is worth two lands. So, I mean, I mean Spinewoods. So we could like, next turn Spinewoods bounce land, next turn Calamity. Or for... Five. If I draw a land, I can go Stomper into Calamity. Hmm. This sucks. Uh, so next turn would be... If I go Bounce Land, because I want to... I, I guess I could Bounce Land next turn. And then five mana for nothing. Yeah, I, I, I got a Stomper, I think. It's always Stomper Spinewoods, even though I, I, I want to... Uh... Shit. Clown isn't so important. I don't think Clown. Whatever. Let's draw land. Alright, I had a land drop. Uh I I screwed up. Oh, that was turn three. Uh if I knew I had a land drop, I would have played something else. I would I would, I would have gotten the bounce land thing. Okay, that's awkward. Alright, that's fun. Uh we'll draw a glimpse of the core. Also super awkward. I can't glimpse the Oh man. If I had just taken the freaking Spinewoods armadillo. Oh my god. Alright, sure. Here's our stomper. And uh, we're going to get a, doesn't really matter, forest. We draw a land, sick. Uh, if we don't draw a land, we can glimpse, I suppose. Work it out that way. Spelunking. Uh, 
All right, they draw some lands. We miss on land. That sucks. Uh, all right, glimpse the core. Mulligan to five is obviously killing us here. Um, we're just so far behind. We've missed, you know, now we've missed the land dropper too. They're ramping, doing their thing. What news are we talking about? Who's got news? Marty! Reached up, thanks so much. Marty! Remember chat, it's your first time hit that follow button, watch on YouTube, hit the like button, support the content. This deck's cool, right? You like this deck? Hit the like button, alright? Support the content, helps a ton. Archangel of Wrath is here, that's bad for us. Now I got nothing to Calamity. Mojo! Resub. 48 months. Holy moly. Alright. Oh, they can't attack yet. We just get to Carnosaur. Alright. I mean, we're doing big stuff. They're doing big stuff too. Ooh, Terror of the Peaks is cool. Alright. So, Sego. Here's Terror of the Peaks. Not Ward, it's only spells. Just a little weird. They were to tap out for a here, they would just die. They have a Sunfall. Sure. That's fine. Um, we just like Carnosaur again. Cavern of Souls. They don't really play any counter spells, but um, just Carnosaur again, right? Whatever plays on Dinosaur. Carnosaur. Can I even cast this? Because you can't cast a spree card for only one. You have to add the other stuff to it. So, obviously, I'll put it to my head anyway, but I don't, I don't think you can cast this regardless. But, should I try for science? Oh, I can't because I have a mana up. Never mind. All right, so. Put it in my hand. All right, so. Yeah, so with the spree cards, you can't. You got to pay the extra stuff. You can never play a spree card for just its mana cost. Like, say uh, I have a Swiss Spear in play and there are two, whatever. I can't, can't play Smuggler Surprise for one. You gotta play it with at least one spree thing. Well, it seems like we got a bit of a crime spree. But that's a good part of the uh, Discover vs. Cascade, though, because you put it in your hand, which is great, so. This is kind of fine, because we get to Calamity, the, the Carnosaur, which I think will do pretty good. We're attacking for a whole bunch, and we get the Cascade twice. They hit Recruiter. Oh, they hit, they hit a Binding and a Planes. Ugh. All right. That's gross. Uh, now he can't win, I don't think. Uh, yeah, I think we're dead. I guess I might draw a land and hit like the Nut Smuggler Surprise, maybe. But Amusingly enough, I think that this probably is an okay matchup for us because like we are sort of combo-y. But Trax is obviously very annoying. So, all right, let's do a full spray. So, we need to get super lucky here. Even then, I don't know, know if we, we can like, hit this actually good. So, we can like a Traxa hit like their Leyline Binding, maybe. Not a Traxa, a Tali. But someone committed a crime. Okay. Uh, so. Yeah, I mean, like, take these two, put in Carnosaur and Calamity. They're just going to bind in the Calamity. Discover five. Yeah, I think we're dead. Um, if we do the hex, the Hexproof mode, I didn't already have the Carnosaur, right? I glimpse the core, tilt. Not a good hit. Yeah, maybe we could use Hexproof Mode also, but, like, I don't, I don't know, we, we need more mana, I don't know. Unfortunately, we just, like, stumbled a lot this game, so, like, we're just behind on a lot of things, so. I mean, we'll attempt a crew, see what happens.
If they have Elish Norn on the board, it's very bad for us. Yeah, move to combat, see what happens. Yeah, we're, we're mana short of Hexproof. We needed, we needed a ninth mana for that. Pretty sick uh, option to have access to, though, right? If they didn't have the Binding, they were dead here, right? We, like, Calamity, make two Carnosaurs. We, uh, we discover five again twice. I guess, like, we have to hit off the Discover, but... All right, so... I guess I would trade here. I could have, like, not gotten cards and just put in Calamity and Stomper, I guess. I don't know if that would have been good enough, though. That would have relied on, like, really hitting with the Carnosaur. Do, 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 do. Depopulate. They draw a card. Sure. Yeah, we're just too far behind this game, I think. From all get to five, though, we were kind of in it, you know? Uh, Stompa. And Armadillo. We draw, like, another Smuggler Surprise or Calamity, maybe. All right, they play Herd Migration. They have Long Goodbye. Are they trying to recruit me? Sure, that works too. All right, that's fine. All right, so let's not ball get to five in game two. I think we'll be all right, honestly. So let's bring in our Pick Your Poisons. Cavern of Souls. Cut these Brotherhood Ends. And just let it ride, I think. I mean, Frillback's also interesting. Uh, killing enchantments is pretty sweet. Graveyard part, not that important, but... Still, again, surprise, there's only, there's only two of these. The card team seems so good in this deck. Um, let's cut two armadillos also for two frillbacks. Let's try this. Alright, on the play. Uh, yeah, this is good. Cavern Assault is more important in the post-board games, and they have, like, just the disable strokes and stuff. Cal says, I feel like the most probable BNR announcement announcement is no changes. Have anything on my wish list. When is the uh, the BNR scheduled for? Because I did not realize it was scheduled. Name Dinosaur. I can limp the core, please. Turn on planes, wow. Alright, so we have, uh, nothing just yet. May 13th? Man, I'm surprised that, that that Cruise is still legal in uh, Pioneer. I said that last one, last BNR, they should just ban that, but... Alright, so we could, we could challenge Locus on here, but it's our sixth land, we should just do this. So, very weird they have Plains Swamp here. That is a very bizarre uh, opening for Domain, but... They named Dinosaur, man, their, their hand is terrible. What are you doing? Still a piece of What's going on over there, friend? All right, here's Terror of the Peaks. Dargan. Plains. They have Plains, Plains, Swamp, Cavern on Dinosaur. You, uh, you got it, friend. How about a Trumpeting Carnosaur? Seven ball. When rotation happens, we're going to get a set of you retrospective like last time. That's a good idea. Seven to your face. Discover five. Alright, glimpse the core. Tilt. Vein Ripper? Nah, nah you, <laughs> Vein Ripper's not even close to the discussion, Marty. Like, there's so many things before Vein Ripper. It's a very, very common thing for Magic players to look at, like, the, the payoff card. I think that's the important card. It's the enablers that are always the problem. Uh, you know, it's not Vein Ripper, it's Fable. You can, you can even say it's Sword. It's not even Sword. It's Fable. Like, without Fable, the deck is much less consistent. So, like, that makes it reasonable. Uh, Sword Ripper is still pretty good, obviously. And then that can be viewed later on, I think. And if you're going to hit one of those cards, it's Sword, not not Ripper. But if they Sunfall here, it's fine. We just Atali them. Cool. Cool. I should have I scribed first, whatever. Uh, Atali says, how about Terror of the Peaks and Up the Beanstalk? How's that sound? Sounds good to me. 
Uh, yeah, so it's District. And Scry and Armadillo to the top. I mean, like, it's fine. It's castable. We can go Trailblazer, Armadillo. Sunfall again, sure. Could you find enough arguments to ban a Trax in Standard? It's playable in one deck, and that deck didn't even do that well in the Pro Tour. So, I think banning a Trax. I think Trax is just, like, an annoying card. Very similar to Shouldered. It's not too good. It's just annoying. You know? Add a mana. Add a green. Cast Armadillo. Beans is pretty good in this deck, right? <laughs> Draw a card. Maybe we should play Beans. MH, MH3 will be on Arena. Yes. I'm going to be uh, figuring out how I want to do my 10 new Brewster set. Because obviously Modern is the important format. But like, I want to do Arena stuff too. So I might do half and half. I might do five brews on Arena. Like three Historic, two Timeless. And then do five brews on a for Modern. Obviously I have the Modern BT coming up too, but... What are they doing over here? Just like stone nothing. I should get Stopper first. That was dumb. Yeah, whatever. They were fine here, but... I'm just going to... Not Zach, whatever. I screwed up. I should have put Stopper first. Straw card. They would just trade uh, Incubator for Trailblazer, so... Adventures in Pioneer. I, re I recall playing a cool uh, adventure deck in Pioneer and it being kind of sweet. It was like Naya. That was a while ago. I haven't played it in a long time, but I remember playing on stream and liking it. Can't speak to how good it is, obviously, but... Let's search for a mountain. Let's draw a card. Oh, man, if I had pre-combated... I guess they might have, like, a Pioneer or something, too, but... All right, we'll just say yeah. I think we have a little monster roaming around. You're going to MSG tonight? Oh, I'm so jealous! Look who's here. Dude, you can't have this. That's not yours. What is this? You're in trouble. Good morning, you're in trouble. This is this is Big Big's controller for his VR set. You can't you can't have that. You're caught. You're caught. Oh, he, he won. Actually, he actually had both of them. Both of them? Well, if you're gonna play and you both, I guess, right? Fire, resub, thanks so much, nine months. Everyone say hi to Cassian. Uh, all right, Cassie, we're playing against Domain. We're playing the big horsey. Can you go? <laughs> Can you do that? Can you go? <laughs> Karn. Karn's so pathetic. Pay attention to me, he says. Can you go? <laughs> Calamity. <laughs> he did it. <laughs> Good job, kid. Hit a soundboard button. Hit a button. Do it. The case of the weird child. It's you, Cassian, the wheel trout. Say hi, everyone. Say hi to Cassian. Cassian, you're, you're in a library today, right? You do your library program? Must be nice. Must be nice. Don't, don't, don't encourage my son to be bad, Mike. Hi. Nope, no microphone. You can't have that. Don't listen to Mike. All right? No, no, not, you can't listen, don't listen to Mike. He said keep that. Up. Up. But you are up. Okay, bye-bye. down. Okay, bye-bye. Can you see... All right, our hand's not great here, but that's fine. We'll work it out. Oh, he flew a kiss to Chad. <laughs> Did he know? Bye-bye. Bye-bye, he says. Bye -bye. Just bye-bye. Okay. One soundboard button to go. Ooh. Good job, Cassian. All right, so we're going to plot uh, Trailblazer or cast Stomper. I mean, if I cast the Trailblazer, I, I can draw a card of Stomper next turn, too. So let's do this. Plot. All right, so definitely need to draw land, which Trailblazer does help us do, I guess. If we draw a land, we can go Trailblazer, make a mana, cast Trailblazer, make a mana, draw a card, cast Stomper, draw two cards. That'd be insane. So I think this card's insane. All right, we draw a land, it's an archway. That's a little awkward. Uh, I think we actually might hold the Trailblazer now and just Stomper for a land, archway, and then we'll save this for next turn for Atali. I like that a lot, actually. Or I can do it with Terror of the Peaks, too. Let's go Stomper. This deck's got some beef in it, folks. Let me tell you. Uh, all right. Let's get a uh, mountain. And then archway back a forest. And we'll just say go. So you have two, three, four, five, six, seven mana next turn. No holy cows here. The holy cows at the Pro Tour. I drafted a total of six holy cows across two drafts. Six. 
had a playset in my first deck. Went 3-0. Full Pro Tour recaps on YouTube. Oh, what a draw. What a draw. That was huge. Cast Trailblazer. Cavern of Souls is like the core of this deck. This deck's got like ass, honestly. Alright, adding a red. Cavern on Dinosaur. Cast Atali. Uncounterable. Luke, check out the YouTube, my friend. I learned an entire series of Pro Tour Brews that didn't quite work out. Check it out. Here's a Stomper and a Glimpse of the Core. Not the best hit of all time, but not bad. Do you think a fully draft PT could work? I used to have those back in the day. They were freaking awesome. Back in the day, folks. Back in my day. Uh, Pro Tour used to be just draft or just constructed. They were not both. Uh, and it was pretty sick. Is like, to prep, you would just play one format. Novel, right? For a draft Pro Tour, you draft a lot. Or as a standard Pro Tour. Or a modern Pro Tour. My second ever Pro Tour was Pro Tour Prague. It was full block Ravnica draft. Also, my best Pro Tour ever. I came in 24th place. And uh, those, are, those are great. They're going to Binding the Atali. Super risky. Because obviously, if I were to uh, destroy this, i will get an Atali again. A lot of ways to do that. We've got uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have 9 mana. So we can go Trailblazer into Terror of the Peaks. No, I was sealed. Ever played at a PT? Maybe at one point, like way back in like you know the '90s or whatever, but not to my knowledge. All right, we draw land. Um, they got a bunch of mana up. Our cavern's on dinosaur, not dragon. Obviously, even though dragons are kind of like dinosaurs, but let's just guess Trailblazer. I think and just try and draw a card, and see what happens. All right, so we draw a card. Ugh. Am I superstitious about the Rangers? Uh, nah. All right, let's play Rockfall Vale and play Terror of the Peaks. This is getting stroked, I feel like. Even so, it's fine, whatever. This is game two, game three, I mean, so. Wow, it resolves. Atali. Oh my God, we're doing it. This card's insane. This is a four up for sure, right? Come on, opponent. What's what's freaking go here? What are we what are we doing? You folding, or are you all in? We're jamming. Hands juiced. Lands for days. It's like a beanstalk that can attack. That's right. It's ramp. Draws cards. It's cool against counter spells. Cast binding, sure. Whatever. See if I care. Hit Trailblazer. Sure. Man, I would love to uh, get some disenchants around here. Do 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 do. They're at eight. They find a planes. In migration twice, sure. Uh, we discard a Carpulsion Force to hand size. So, I mean, even if they had Traxxas this turn, like, we get to such Ali back. We also have Terror, we like, double Terror of the Peaks, too. So, like, we just killed them. The fact that this is, like, has, like, a combo element is kind of sick. Where, like, against a deck, like, without Grind you, you can just, like, oops, here's, here's 40 damage, kill you. Mike, of course, in chat, being the most helpful possible, says there are four sealed Pro Tours. Atlanta 96, Seattle 98... And then team sealed in 99 and 2000. All right, there's dead, right? We just go terror, terror. Uh, terror. Deal five. Mega mana. Terror. Deal 10. Or draw card, whatever. Upstairs! Game. That was actually a pretty impressive well, match. Um, you would think the domain would go over the top of us, but... Pseudo combo kill uh, wins the day. Pretty sweet. Might have some exciting news in the front for this upcoming Pro Tour. Alright, so uh, we can keep this. Alright, so uh, yeah, whatever. Tap lane, go. Hmm. 
Roxanne's a cool card, too. Yeah. A lot of five drops of that, though, obviously. So. All right. So get a far Sigio. I'd imagine blue black would be a hard matchup for us, right? Like, oh, they're, they're Esper. No, what, what are they? What, what's going on here? Are they one drop Esper? That's very weird. Any time with pressure and counter spells should be like the thing. We have, we have Cavern of Souls, though. So, like, my match would be fine. Cavern of Souls is the stones. Uh, play a land. We might just have to stop her and just cast Karnstor next turn. We could kill a duelist, but whatever, honestly. Nathan's got a long way to go, folks. Nathan, Nathan's like 21 years old, you know? Nathan, Nathan's not even on Torp at, 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 the, at the time, you know? Look, Pro Tour Champ, World Champ, insane. But we're talking about like 20-year periods of dominance, you know? Like Finkel had a Pro Tour Hall of Fame career. Got put in the Hall of Fame. Retired. Came back. And then had another Pro Tour caliber career. Like if you erased everything from, from his induction... We would have had another Pro Tour Caliber career. So, all right, so pretty insane draw from them, but I think they might just be dead, honestly. We just, um, we're just a Carnosaur here. Yeah, name Dinosaur. Um, a lot of good hits, obviously. We hit Glimpse the Core again. <laughs> I mean, like, we honestly want the seventh mana anyway, and now I can attack too, so it isn't even that bad. It's just block, I guess, but. What are the odds I would play Amulet Titan in a PC? PC? Probably really low, because that's sort of, very confusing, but... So I guess, like, we might, might lose this game, right? We kind of whiffed on the Carnosaur, and, like, they have, like, the stones in the play here. Having the one-drop to go with the Rafine is, is insane. Uh, almost no Esper deck plays one-drops, because it's just bad on the mana, but... They do, apparently. You're right. Spike's Vampire Pox. I think I have a little bit. It seemed cool. Spike's the best, obviously. I'm sad Spike didn't queue this modern PT. We had a Spiring Spike on our, our Pro Tour team for the last PT. It was awesome. They discard a bat? Wow. We got a two? Holy shit. Oh my god. What an insane draw. They just turned four to us on the play. One, two, three, four. Damn. All right, you got me, I guess. Uh, we're going to bring in a Barrage... I would say we want Volcanic Spite over Brotherhood's End. It's more nimble. We cut this map, the Frontier. Um, I'll pick your poison too, I guess. Let me sure you have like two armadillos. They're a little slow. And bring the fourth caverns for sure for like. I don't know, maybe like. I don't know. Some some land. District maybe. Backwoods. Backwood seems greedy, just like not necessary at all. Like, yeah, you can fetch it, but whatever. Let's try this. All right, on the play. Uh, yeah, we're gonna keep. It's a little awkward, but obviously, Rockfall Veil vale is awkward with Arid Archway too. But like, I can't block this hand. I don't think so. We got to get paid. Modern Pro Tour is gonna be at the end of uh, June, I believe. I just booked all my flights yesterday. I'm going to Dreamhack Atlanta. Sorry, Dreamhack Dallas for the RC, and I'm going to uh, Amsterdam for the Pro Tour. I got, yeah, I'm, I'm. they're working on on a new new video for me, be red. Duels to the Mind, you can kill that one. Uh, let me just stop our archway though. The thing is like, now we're on the play, and we're doing stuff, so like, and then I have a one drop, so you have to have a fiend here, like, we're gonna freaking clown them with a, with a Calamity, so. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, yeah, so we just like... Yeah, they're just dead. <laughs> We're just a Calamity Stomper. And then Carnosaur. It's a Gix. Very, very aggressive version of Esper. Um, so that's Calamity. Saddle up. Attack. I should probably be saddling up now. Coming in. Alright, so they're at eight. And I've got a Calamity they must deal with. A Stomper in play also. And they have Carney, or Mool Spell, and Trailblazer all ready to go too, so. Killer Well, your first RC? Awesome. Who am I going to see at uh, DreamHack Dallas? The RC Dallas in June. DreamHacks are big for me too, because like, 
I'm 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 mostly going as a stream hack. I'm already queued for the PTs. So the RC isn't that important for me, and like I'm just busy. Uh, but being a dream hack, talking to companies, uh, I picked up my last sponsor, Anthros, at, at, my, at the last dream hack, and like I'm gonna do do a uh, a meet and greet in their booth and stuff. It's gonna be freaking awesome. Great chance to be on the floor talking to companies and stuff. Very good networking opportunity for a bit for a content creator. So that's my Friday, and then and then I'll also play the RC. It's fun, but take a bunch. Um, Liliana and Deep Cavern Bat. Very interesting Esper list here, honestly. Oh, yeah. And the big one for me is that the, the StarCraft Pro Tour is happening at DreamHack. And I'm a huge StarCraft fan. So that's awesome for me. All right. So we're going to cast a Trailblazer and can't try and cast Carnosaur. If they have a Doomblade for the Calamity, we might actually still dive this turn. Let's add a red. Play Carnosaur. Yeah, I'm actually a matter short. We can still die here if they have a, a good thing. Nope, we get Terror of the Peaks. That's like, alright, let's hit Terror of the Peaks. They just like obviously have a Doomblade here. So we'll uh they're also at eight. They have a three six though. Alright, draw a card. Draw a card. Can't tap the terror. It's a flyer. Um, we'll tap Carnosaur and see what happens. Like they're obviously killing the calamity. So combat. Yeah. What a sick draw. Like they really have like had the nuts both games in a row. Carter Fiend. This game and attacks. They go now. They just like, have a, a kill spell for this. Also, we're dead. Yeah, much more aggressive Esper deck. Kind of cool, honestly. Seems worse against, like, the Mirror, but better against, you know, Domain and Control decks. I think we're, we're dead or we're not here, right? I don't understand what the, 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 the holdup is, but... I mean, if we get to untap and cast Mother Surprise, you know, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have the, we have the full nine mana. We can even uh, do the thing. That's kind of sick. If we don't die here, we 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 win, right? Well, I guess we have to, we have to block the terror of the peaks. So, okay. Uh, all right. I mean, terror's got a chump block, but we get to fire off a full a full smuggler surprise to try and get lucky. So, all right. So they draw a game of life. It's fine. Have to block or we die. So looking for some big ones here, folks. All right. Map on a shield. So fourteen to eight. We just need a calamity, basically. So we're gonna draw. That, that also works. Terror of the Peaks is, is huge. That might be the game. All right, so we get to do a full surprise. Um, I guess there's no reason to give the hex proof indestructible because they're just tapped out and we're going to die the next one anyway. So we also need to be aware of drawing cards and dying. I think that's fine. That's so funny. The Trailblazer might kill us. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. We can kill our own Trailblazer. No. Shit. What's up, Doom? That's, that's, that's what I was thinking, too. We, were trying to, we, can, we can kill it, but we can't. We're a man of short, then. We can also kill the Shielder with a Terror Trigger. That's true, also. So, um... So, we put in Terror and Spine Woods. So... We need to like manually stack our abilities there. Right, so let's, let's do this the right way. All right, so let's go to uh, turn off auto order trigger abilities. And we're going to smuggle a surprise for these two. All right, here we go, folks. This is a big one. This one's for the game. We kind of whiffed. Uh, we had Stomper and Cavern of Souls. Uh, we put in 
Armadillo and Terror of the Peaks. Shit. Now I need, now I need to kill a Shieldred. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, they're at 14. Shit. No, it's freaking... It tied me out. Um, all right, well... Hopefully I still, I, I still get a second main phase. We still have two flying blockers. And if I could play a land and just kill this spyglass tower with this volcanic spite, we're in pretty good shape, I think. Ooh. If I like that, I can kill the duelist, too. I just hope it, like, I didn't totally time out and I get, I get a second main phase. That sucks, Is like, I was resolving the spell at that point and just, like, I didn't get, like, a, a, any bonus time. Please get fun. Please get third. Yes, thank God. Right, dinosaur. Spite down the duelist. And say goodbye to the glimpse of the core. Alright. We might actually win this game, which would be a goddamn miracle, but the armadillo is actually freaking huge. Uh Ward 3 is a lot. Sneaky reach. Get that arrow drawn. I like archery. Archery's fun. Oh, man. Scrybug! I didn't even notice. I'm so pleased with myself right now. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna win this game. Been able to golf at all? Pfft. I haven't played golf all year. Wow! Wow! That was insane. Alright, uh, now we're game three on the draw. We have, we have, like, stuff to do. We have the kill spells and stuff, too, though. So, let's bring another spite, I think. I want to cut, like, just something dumb and expensive. Um, it's funny. The barrages are kind of awkward. because like, he doesn't kill some of their stuff. But, let's cut, um... Maybe cut a Calamity. Because, like, they just have a bunch of Dewblades and stuff. No, you can't. Don't even try. Exactly. Uh, I'm going to cut a Calamity. Let's try this. I would say they're due for like a tap land on turn one, tap land on turn two draw also, you know? Like not have the stones into Rafine. Trying it out. Looking for a 3-0 here. I mean, we have a glimpse the core and the armadillo and the mulliganed. I'm going to keep. I guess our hand's pretty weak to, to, weak to do a deep cavern bat, but this is a, another bounce land game where, like, we should get, get a bounce land. Plaza Skrelv. Yeah, that's pretty good. If only Calamity was a vehicle instead, so it didn't have a throat. That'd be huge for that card, yeah. How about no bat for once? We do that. Duress. That's bad. But sure. Down to three cards, like. Alright, so we go. Let's name Dinosaur. That's, that's sick. Actually, naming Dinosaur for Stomper is insane, so. Alright, let's just do this. I don't know why main phase. They got a tie binder, I guess, but. Don't want to just get a regular land or get the archway. Um. Archway's two lands, obviously, but... Let's get a regular land. Alright, we'll just get a forest. Or a mountain. Mountain? Forest? Mountain. Alright, Sigio. Green's right here for Stomper. Cavern of Souls on Dinosaur. It's not like Domain, folks, where your caverns have to name Angel. All my big cards are Dinosaurs for the most part, so... Come on! Rafine turn three every game. Get real. I feel like I played Rafine turn three like three times in ten rounds of the Pro Tour. Like, come on now. All right. Stomper, get a forest, Sigyo. 
Hands pretty heavy here, obviously. Stupid ravine. Obviously, they have nothing else to go with it, really. They just got a land, too. So, like, we're still in pretty, pretty good shape here, I guess. We're still, you know, we're 21. There's a Gix. That's bad. Uh, all right. They only attack with Rafine, not the Skrelv. Okay. That's pretty cool for us. Can we draw land, please? This Gix is kind of... Like, not drawing a card off Gix is insane. We draw Pick Your Poison. What a card to draw. What a card. All right. Uh, Sack a flyer, please. Get the hell out of here. Get off my plane. That's what I said. Plot it. Just plotting a coup. So I'm going to draw two cards here, obviously, which is bad for us. But now I get to Trailblazer and a Terror or a Carnosaur. And I have, I preferably Carnosaur if I have a draw land. This card's insane, yeah. This card's just an absolute crazy piece. Waka, waka. Could have killed the Gix, I guess, with the Carnosaur. In retrospect, I wish I had, obviously. I could have. They, they'd scroll. Never mind. They'd scroll. Uh, all right, so draw some cards. All right. I mean... If they have a counter spell here, also we're dead. But whatever. Like, what are you gonna do? You know, you can't. You can't win them all. Their draws have been insane all three games. All right, that resolved. Draw a card. It's not a land, unfortunately. Got calamity. Problem is now their hands like insane because they've like refined a few times and drawn cards of kicks. <clears throat> MBG player reset. Thanks so much. Also downright fierce. Thanks so much. Clap some bacon on a biscuit and let's go. We're burning daylight. All right, here comes Rafine and Gix. This is a pretty bold attack because Terror can block the Rafine. Because they have a removal spell, which suck. They have Odawara for one blue. Jeez. <sighs> Sucks. Tough games. Really tough games. Sucks, too. Like, they've built their deck in a way that's, like, very, very good against us. Which is kind of a non-traditional Esper build. Draw another non -land. Also, not drawing lands either, so that's pretty shitty too. Um, we can't even cast anything. We just have four. We just have four mana in play. Like we're the ramp deck. We have four mana and they have six. What are you gonna do? You know, like I guess we'll spite. Uh, try and spite the scrub and draw land. Not so good. Back to Plaza of Heroes. What do you got, friend? All right, so uh, they have Plaza of Heroes. I missed that one. I wasn't paying attention, I guess. Uh, I'll just spite again. I mean, we just I can't win another thing, but spite again. Say goodbye to probably a Terror of the Peaks or a Carnosaur. A Terror of the Peaks. Draw another non-land. Sometimes I'd rather get you folks, you know. You just can't win sometimes. 
I'd play this match back for uh, you know for a rematch. I think we we probably I think we could probably win it, but some pretty good draws for our opponent, pretty bad draws on our side. That's life. Cooley with the big raid. What's up, Cooley? How's it going, my friends? My name is Jim Davis, pro magic player, full time content creator, and extremely good looking streamer. And uh, we're getting crushed by some Esper nut draws here. That's okay. Uh, we're gonna block. Playing some really fun standard decks today, a bunch of off-meta stuff, and just hanging out, having a good time. First time you're in the follow button again. Follow me on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, ChristianMingle.com, Farmers Meet, Twitter, X. Hope to see you there, right? Alright, whatever, we can draw land. Alright, so rough game, obviously. This game we shouldn't draw lands at all. They had the stones in game one, the stones in game two. We just didn't draw lands this game, so what are you gonna do? But uh two one, not too bad. So let's look at our deck list. Alright, so over here on untap.gg where I tap tap, where I track all my games. Uh, for free, and you can too. Download for free. Use my link in chat or description. Uh, went two and one. This deck's kind of gas, honestly. Um, I think the list can be tuned up a lot, but I think the overall concept's pretty insane. This is a deck that really, really abuses Cavern of Souls, uh, where, like, you know, the number one way to beat, beat a deck with this is counter spells. And this deck has Cavern of Souls, which is insane. So, deck's pretty cool. Kind of an impressive one. Uh, one I'll work on probably in the future, but we got more to play on stream. You do folks love you. Like, comment, subscribe. You're all right. Peace. Have a good one.